everybody, welcome to the Ultimate Scouting Show. Thank you guys for joining me. Today we are going to be ranking NFL quarterbacks on this tier list I made here. If you want to do this for yourself, I will put the link down in the description below. Go ahead and check it out, but let's hop right on into this thing. So first up, we want to talk about the tiers here. We have divided them into elite quarterback, franchise level quarterback, quality starters, average starters, replacement levels, and then backups. So we will be putting kind of all the notable quarterbacks this NFL season into these tiers. This isn't necessarily just about this season. It is kind of how I rank this quarterbacks as a whole. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Let me know what you disagree with down in the comments below. First up, we have Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan has not been very good this year. I certainly think he's been replacement level. Nothing special by any means. I think the Colts are looking to replace him. He did have a good week this week, but not someone I think they're going to look to build around. Next, we have Matthew Stafford. Stafford, I would say, is a quality starter this year. He was probably a franchise-level quarterback last year, but I just don't think he's necessarily looked the same. I do think he has some things to improve on. Hasn't looked quite like the player he was last year. Kirk Cousins is going to be a quality starter as well. We will rank them within the tiers after we have kind of put them all in these tiers, so kind of ignore that for now. Carson Wentz is replacement level. He is now on his third team in three years, and this team is also looking to replace him. He is bad, so we are going to put him there. Baker Mayfield is replacement level as well. They are already trying to replace him with P.J. Walker, so I think that that is completely fair to say. These next two are very easy. Both of them are in the elite tier. Just such good players. I mean, they have all the physical tools in the world. I'm pretty stingy with the elite tier. These may be the only two in that elite tier, but man, are they good. Next, we have Kenny Pickett. Pickett is kind of a tough one. He hasn't played a whole lot, but I wouldn't say that he's been very good this year. I'd say he's been a pretty average quarterback at this point. Still has a lot to improve on right now. Trey Lance is up next. I would put Trey Lance in the... Uh, this is a tough one just because we really haven't seen him play. I will put him in the replacement level for now just because I didn't love what I saw out of him, but I do think he can improve and get there. Zach Wilson, I'm going to put in the average tier. I think that he has the tools. I think he could be a good player, but he's got a lot to work on. Much like Kenny Pickett, we just need to see more of him. That's kind of going to be the same thing with Mac Jones. Bailey Zappi is a little bit harder. I don't necessarily think he is ridiculously capable. I am going to put him in the replacement level tier for now. So those New England quarterbacks can be hard to rank. I mean, it's all just kind of difficult at this point in that one little section there of guys that haven't really proven themselves much. So we'll just put them there for now. Tua is a tough one. I think he is pretty polarizing. I'm going to put him as a quality starter. I think he has looked much, much better this season, much improved from what he has been. I do think that the talent at wide receiver does help him out a lot, but throwing over the middle in time, he is really, really good at that. He is very accurate. I don't think he has the arm to make the downfield throws. I don't think he is, you know, ridiculously physically talented, but I do think he is a quality NFL starter at this point. Teddy Bridgewater, his backup, I would say is just a backup at this point. Nothing really more than that. Derek Carr is tough. Before this season, I would have said he is a quality starter. Right now, I am going to put him in the average tier. I just don't think he's played particularly well this year. I am going to be relatively stingy with, you know, some of these higher grading picks here. So I am going to put Carr in the average quarterback tier for now. I may move him up. We'll kind of see where things end up. Justin Herbert is a franchise-level quarterback. I think he's awesome. He has been playing hurt this year, but he is a really good player, and he deserves to be in that franchise tier there. Russell Wilson has not been very good this year. I would put him as an average quarterback this year. What a fall he has taken, but I just really don't think that he has shown that he is able to carry this team and really elevate the offense to where they need to be. I just don't think he's been a very good player and you know pretty average, so we're going to put him in that tier there. Next up, we have Taylor Heineke. Heineke, I am going to throw in the backup tier. I like what he does. I think he is a fun backup, but he's just not someone that I would ever trust giving the keys of my offense to. Daniel Jones has been quite a surprise this year. He has been a pretty good average quarterback. So I think that he has taken care of the ball when he needed to. He's used his legs effectively. And we may bump some of these guys up or down a tier, just kind of depending on what we see at the end. But right now, I think that that is where Daniel Jones belongs. Lamar Jackson is a franchise-level quarterback. He can just do things that no other quarterback can do. He's been so awesome this year. 
at just you know taking what the defense gives him, being able to run and make plays with his legs. He is definitely a franchise level quarterback. Jalen Hurts is another incredibly polarizing one. I think a lot of people coming into the year were really low on him. Some were incredibly high. Right now, I would say Jalen Hurts is a quality starter. I think that he has shown some really nice things this year, but I think the talent around him is really great as well. The offensive line is probably the best in the NFL. A.J. Brown has been a top 10 receiver easily. You know, he's also got Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, just so many playmakers. So I think he's done a really good job, but I don't know that he has really proven that he is one of the absolute elite of the elite. Dak Prescott, I would say, is also a quality starter. I think he's shown some really nice things. He's one of the most uh, anticipatory passers in the NFL. He has really good timing on most of his throws. I think he is a good, accurate quarterback. Definitely someone that I really think is someone that you could win a Super Bowl with for the Cowboys. Next up, we have Tom Brady. Tom Brady is still a franchise-level quarterback. He hasn't had his best season, but a lot of the Buccaneer struggles are really not on him. I think he is still playing at a very high level. Definitely someone that I think is over hated and you know obviously I get it because of the team success that he has had and, and just the ridiculous accolades he has gotten but he is just still playing at such a high level at 45 years old he is amazing next up we have Marcus Mariota he is replacement level he might be the worst starting quarterback in the NFL from just a consistency basis I like what he can do with his legs but they really need to give Desmond Ritter a shot I think he is just not someone that you can really build around P.J. Walker is a backup quarterback. I like what he can do, but he is just not capable of starting on a consistent basis and really giving you a good output. Andy Dalton is a backup level quarterback. Actually, I'm going to put him in the replacement level tier. I don't think he has been absolutely atrocious this year. I think a lot of the weapons that they've had have been injured. I don't think he's a good player necessarily, but he is someone that you can have start a couple games for you and you don't feel terrible about that. Jameis Winston is in a very similar tier. Obviously, they're on the same team. I think Andy Dalton has outplayed him this year, so we are going to put Winston in that tier for now. Justin Fields, the past like month and a half, has looked absolutely awesome. He still has a lot of room to go as a true dropback passer, but because of his legs, he is already a quality starter in this league. He is really, really dangerous with what he can do on the ground. He's had multiple games now of over 100 yards. He's broken off long runs. He has just done a lot with very little around him. I've been very impressed with him the past couple of weeks, and he looks like the best of the 2021 quarterback class right now. Aaron Rodgers is also one of those guys that hasn't necessarily had his best year. I would still say he is a quality starter at this point. I do think that you can blame him for some of the things that are going wrong in Green Bay, but right now, with the way he's playing, he's still playing like a quality starter. Jared Goff is someone that I do think is perhaps overhated a little bit. I think he is not necessarily a very good player, but he is someone that I think you could make a case that he is an average quarterback in this league. I don't think he is great, but if he's starting games for you, he's probably not the primary problem. I mean, the Lions have a lot of other issues. Goff is one of them, but I don't think he's absolutely atrocious either. Jacoby Brissett has really kind of taken a big step back. I would say he is solidly just a backup quarterback at this point. He started the year pretty well, and I just think since then, he really hasn't done much to really excite you. I do think that, you know, he's done a decent job keeping things afloat where he can, and, you know, he's really good in short yardage runs. The offense is really easy for him. I just don't think he's making a ton of plays where it needs to. I just think he is a backup quality level quarterback. Kyler Murray is someone I think is a quality starter in this league as well. He has some really nice moments. There are a lot of times that I think Cliff Kingsbury and his play calling hold him back. I do think that there are times that, you know, he's not necessarily the most accurate or he's not the best decision maker, but I do like what Kyler can do. He's very unique in that kind of mold. So I really like Kyler. I think he is a quality level starter. Jimmy G is someone I would say is just average. He's not terrible. He's not going to probably be the primary reason you lose games, but I'm just not very impressed by Jimmy G either. Next, we have Geno Smith. This is one of the craziest uh, seasons I have seen from a quarterback, but he has been a quality starter this year. Definitely a really fun, exciting player. You know, like I said, that top two tiers are really reserved for who I think are the best, you know, six, seven quarterbacks in the NFL. I think Geno has been close to top 10, but I am going to put him in that quality starter tier for now. 
Mitch Trubisky is a backup level quarterback. He has shown that he is nothing really more than that. And we can throw a couple more in that backup tier as well. Malik Willis and Sam Ellinger both have played a little bit this year and have been pretty unimpressive. I like the future for Malik Willis, but right now he is just a backup level quarterback. He could certainly develop into more than that. Sam Ellinger, I think, is probably just going to be a backup level quarterback. I don't have a whole lot of faith in him developing beyond that. Next, we have Deshaun Watson. Watson is so difficult to rank because he hasn't played in two years. I would typically put him in the franchise quarterback tier if he comes back and remains the same player he was. I think that is a completely fair argument. For now, I am going to throw him in the quality starter tier. I just don't necessarily think that he is going to hit the ground running. I do think that there's just a lot of uncertainty, which is not being around the game for that long. So I am going to put him in that tier for now. Davis Mills is a replacement level quarterback. I think they will be drafting his replacement in the spring and during the draft. So I am going to put him in that tier. Just really hasn't been super impressive this year. Ryan Tannehill, I'm going to put in the average tier. He doesn't destroy games for you, but I really don't think he is much more than just a game manager at this point. He's a very average quarterback. Next, we have Trevor Lawrence. I think he's been average as well. I really like the upside of Trevor Lawrence. I really like what he can do, what he can be, but based off what we have seen so far this year, I think he has got to be in that tier. And then Joe Burrow, I'm going to put in the franchise quarterback tier. His accuracy, his timing, his decision-making has been really good this season, and I think he deserves to be in that tier. So now we are going to go ahead and rank these throughout the tiers and just kind of see what we think of all of these quarterbacks. So I am going to keep Mahomes above Allen. I think Mahomes has just been a little bit more consistent this year. Allen has had some turnover so that really just kind of head scratching, especially the past couple of weeks. So I am going to put Mahomes there. I just think he is the most consistently good out of all of these guys. For the franchise quarterbacks tier, I am going to, I think, slide Herbert down a little bit and Jackson. I think Burrow is going to be number three right now. He is just the most consistent to me out of these guys. Tom Brady, I am going to put next. Then Lamar behind Justin Herbert there. I'm going to put Herbert next and then Lamar. I really think all of these guys do something at a very elite level. They're just not quite on the physical talent level of Mahomes and Allen. I think you could argue Herbert is, but he just hasn't played up to that level this year of with those other guys. So I am going to put Burrow, Brady, Herbert, and then Lamar. This quality starter tier is really full. This is really, really tough to do. Stafford is going to slide down here. I think we are going to put Deshaun Watson up pretty high in this, as well as Aaron Rodgers, Jalen Hurts, Tua. Uh, I think we'll go like that. We're going to go with Deshaun Watson, then Aaron Rodgers, Jalen Hurts, Tua, Dak Prescott, Kirk Cousins. Mm, we're going to bump Kyler and Geno Smith up like that. So, yep, we'll go Tua, Dak, Kyler Murray, Kirk Cousins, Geno Smith, Matt Stafford, and then Justin Fields. I think that is kind of how I would rank those guys. They've had a lot of... Just good quarterback play throughout this. It's all about being consistent uh, and just continuing to develop for guys like Hertz and Tua and Kyler. Geno Smith, who is still developing at 31 years old, he's breaking out. So I think some of these guys are kind of up and coming. Some of them are kind of hitting their their peak with Rodgers and, and Stafford kind of hitting where I think they're, they're going to be at the top of their career and then fall down a little bit. So I think that those are quality starters at this point in this league. As far as average goes, I think we've got to slide Pickett pretty much all the way to the bottom here. He hasn't been awesome. I'm going to put Carr up high. I still like what Carr does. Daniel Jones up pretty high as well. Uh, Trevor Lawrence up pretty high. I think we will slide Zach Wilson down a bit. Russ, as bad as he is, is probably still up there. I like what Jimmy G does. I think he's pretty consistent. Tannehill, we're going to slide up two spots here. I think that's how I would rank it. Got Carr, Daniel Jones, Trevor Lawrence, Russell Wilson, Jimmy G, Ryan Tannehill, Mac Jones, Jared Goff, Zach Wilson, Kenny Pickett. I think that's how I would rank those guys. A lot of these guys are up and coming with lots of upside. You think Lawrence and Mac Jones, Zach Wilson, Kenny Pickett, all really young guys. And then you've kind of got some of your bridge quarterbacks where you've got you know, Jimmy G, Ryan Tannehill, Jared Goff, guys that you don't necessarily expect to be 
at their situations long term, but can still give you good quarterback play. And then you've got Carr and Wilson, who I think expected to have much better seasons than this and aren't necessarily up on that tier anymore right now. For replacement level, this is a tough tier as well. A lot of these guys are just not playing very well or haven't played much this year. I think we'll throw Bailey Zappi up kind of high. I think Andy Dalton genuinely has been pretty decent as well. Matt Ryan has not. Davis Mills really hasn't been that bad either. I think we will do something like this. Jameis isn't that terrible. I think we'll go with that. Uh, Lance above him there. So I think we'll go with Andy Dalton and then Bailey Zappi, Carson Wentz, Jameis Winston, Trey Lance, and then Davis Mills, Matt Ryan, Marcus Mariota, and Baker Mayfield. All guys, I think, could start games for you, and you're not necessarily in a terrible place, but just not really guys that you're super excited about starting for you. Definitely looking to replace them in the future. I think pretty much all of these guys will not be playing for their teams, uh, at least in a starting capacity, next year. So that is why they are in the replacement level tier there. Next up in the backups, I think Jacoby Brissett has earned some respect there, as has Heineke. Bridgewater's pretty good as well. And then I think you could say Walker, Trubisky, Malik Willis, and Sam Ellinger. That's probably a pretty fair order there. So that is going to do it for my quarterback's rankings video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you disagree, please let me know down below which ones you don't agree with. Who would you have ranked higher? Who would you have ranked lower? Where did I get it wrong? Kind of give me your rankings. I'd love to see what you think. Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much. Bye.